Now we're gonna hook the trailer up to our shore power. First, we're gonna locate the power cord, which will be on the non-patio side and or the rear of your trailer, depending on your unit. This one here has got a black access cover. Also, you'll see it states this is a connection for 110 outlets and also tells you how many amperage it is. You'll either have a 30 amp coach or a 50 amp coach. This particular coach has the cord that's already connected or hardwired into your trailer. Some trailers will require you to take the end and turn it and twist it onto the trailer, but this one's already hardwired in. One way to tell if your coach has 30 amp service or 50 amp service is by the number of prongs. This one here is a three prong plug, which means it's a 30 amp service. If you had four, it would be a 50. A lot of campgrounds will have 50 amp service and 30 amp service. Some older parks may not have that. Some may just have a 30 and or a 50. If you do have a 50 amp service only and you have a 30 amp plug, you're okay. You can get yourself an adapter, which will take it down from your 50 amp service down to your 30 amp power cord and will not hurt the trail at all. In this case here, we do have a 30 amp plug. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and insert the plug, put it in. Some campgrounds you go to, it may have a breaker, which you'll have to turn on and off before you plug and unplug. Also remember that you should always have your air conditioning off before you unplug or plug in your trailer. Okay, now we're gonna step inside. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the lights on. As you will see, the lights did illuminate. That does not mean that we do have 110 power coming into the trailer. Your trailer lights work on 12 volts. So to really know if you do have 110 power coming in, just look at your microwave. If the microwave display is lit up, that means you do have the current power coming in. If for some reason your microwave isn't lit up, the first thing I would check is your fuse panel to make sure the breakers are not turned off. Okay, so should you have no power at your microwave, you do want to check your circuit breaker. Your panel is down below right here. Just push this lid, it opens up. There's all your breakers that work your 110 side. Make sure none of these breakers are tripped in the off position. If they are, go ahead and reset them. Double check your microwave, power's on, you're good. If not, then your problem's gonna be at the pole outside your trailer. So just go check your connection where your plug is. If there's a breaker there, make sure that breaker is turned on. If there's no breaker present, contact the campground and they can assist you with the power at the park. 